heard that bikers gather at night near the harbor cafeteria is that them. Good morning, everyone. Morning. morning. Time for a daily <laughs> warm up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. 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 Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. On your mark, almost time to go. Time to get this last place trophy. Ready? Go! Got the buttons for a second. All right. Don't push me into the wall again. Nope, not this time. All right. Starting off to a not so good start already. Already. <laughs> I'm threatening to change the camera angle, but I feel like it'll mess me up if I do. So we're just gonna keep it the same. Hawk him down. Hawk him down, real. Hawk him down. Really? 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 We, we are still co-workers, sir. You don't have to kill me. Not over a race. We're still co-workers. <laughs> I don't stop hitting stuff. Running into walls. Why? I'm not the first. Running into walls like a peasant. <laughs> I gotta do some warm up races before I stream because this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not catching. I'm not catching. Hog him down, real. Hog him down. Distract him with the horn. Finish. Nope. Oh man, so close. You almost right had it. In this stuff, man. Here's your prize. Thanks. It's time for work. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. I'm ready. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. Today's quote is written on the map. No problem. Okay, get to it then. Where's warehouse 18? I forgot already. Um, over there somewhere. All right, yeah, I'll figure it out. No big deal. I will figure it out. Don't worry about it. Yo, yo, yo! What is up, y'all? We are back. We are back on 
the Shinmu calamity, I guess, if you will. It is your boy, MTG Gaming. I hope you all are doing good today. Is that 18? That is 18. Did I just take some stuff in here already? Oh, well. We are back on the Shinmu calamity. Thank you guys for rocking with me, for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all the love and support that I get. Cut it too short, cut it short. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for your boy. Give me that feedback, man. You ain't doing nothing else. You're already watching. Why not just hit the button, man? I appreciate it. But yeah, we are back. Hope you guys are having a good day. Some good productive days, all that good stuff. I forgot which way to go now. Oh, it looks crazy. Yeah, they're back here. Is a little chilly. It was definitely, it was definitely significantly colder today. So fall is quickly approaching, which I have no problem with. I'm ready for, I'm ready for some fall weather because it's been too hot. It has been too hot for too long. But I saw a, I saw a time hop. Shout out to time hop. I saw a time hop from last year and. I was wearing hoodies last year and I was like, man, it was actually cold last year. This this time last year, rather. I feel like we're going to get another one of those. I feel like it's going to be another one of those situations where it's Halloween and it's going to be like 70, <laughs> 75 on Halloween. All the little kitties are going to be out there with their costumes sweating like crazy. Oh, security guards, y'all don't do nothing no way. Y'all just walk around with your arms crossed. Let your boy Rio make this moolah. I forget if there's a cutscene in this in this um on this day, during the day rather. I know at night you have the cutscene near the harbor uh, cafeteria. But I cannot remember if there's one during the day. It would also be interesting if they let Rio play music while he's working. What is my quota? Too, too much. Yes. Quota is eight crates. Okay. And now the audio cut out. There it is. Man. I keep cutting it too short. I keep forgetting how long this uh, warehouse is. Warehouse E is running. But yeah, as I always say. Hope you guys are doing good, chilling, enjoying life, all that good stuff. Spreading positivity. Ooh, man. I say spreading positivity, then I proceed to curse out all my coworkers. <laughs> spreading positivity through forklift road rage. There it is. Move it. Oh, you get ooh, that guy got ran over. I apologize. That man called a crate to the forehead. Yeah, I put uh in my heading I put too legit to quit because my coworker was he was singing that song like all day today. I don't, I don't know what what got into him today, but he was just singing too legit to quit all day. Maybe it was because I was maybe it's because I was singing Ice Ice Baby and he was trying to get back at me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, dude, who doesn't like Ice Ice Baby and Go Ninja Go Ninja Go? They're, they're classic songs. Even if you don't like Vanilla Ice and or what he stood for, Ice Ice Baby is still a good song. Ice Ice Rio. <laughs> I 
wonder if um I forget was Twitch still cracking down on you playing music on your in your streams and stuff. I know they sent the email, but I forgot what they said. I did. And I read the whole thing. I read the whole thing all the way through, but I forgot what it said. Like about their policies and stuff for playing music while you're streaming and all that good stuff. Because I don't want to get my channel flagged or my videos and stuff taken down. Well, that's more YouTube getting your videos taken down. Like I'm just trying to sit here make my little videos talk my little talk my little smack and play my little games that's all I'm trying to do Mullet. Mullet. Rio would be a horrible a horrible co-worker talking crazy to everybody get out of the way move it So I was watching some other people stream uh, Shimu 3 on the YouTube and because I had started streaming Shimu 3 for a couple episodes but then I ran into some um, it's some glitch or something or something they need to patch where it keeps like force it would force close on me after it was after one of the fights. After one of the fights, it would just it would just cut off the the, the game would just cut off on me. And I tried to reboot it in a couple different times, and it just was not it just was not happening. It. So it's like, okay, well, I guess we will have to stream Shimu Three at another day. I should have asked around to see if anybody else was experiencing that, but I didn't think about it at the time because I was too busy trying to I was too busy trying to figure out what else I wanted to stream because you know I try to keep a, I try I try to keep a steady supply of content on my YouTube and on my on my uh, Twitch yeah that makes sense I was about to say Twitter why was I about to say Twitter lunchtime eh oh sorry lunchtime but yeah I try to keep a steady supply of of content so I kind of panicked a little bit because I was like, okay, well, what is the next game I'm going to put on my YouTube channel? So, that was when I went ahead and rebought. This one, I went ahead and bought uh, this, the Shimu 1 and 2 pack on PlayStation. Yo! Let me take a picture of you two. No, that's okay. Don't be shy. <laughs> what? Stand there. Here we go. Why do you say that so fast? you get in closer. Smile. As Rio intentionally frowns, That's Rio's so rude. it. Here goes. And then smiles after. That's so low Which down, do dude. What do you want? Yo. Like, he's intentionally frowning his face. Like, Rio, why would you do that? That's so mean. Um. Uh, I'll take this one. Uh, this one. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. They're keepsakes. What's with her? I... I'm going to Canada. I heard Canada what? is nice. I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Too of late for I that. <laughs> I'll always treasure this. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. Oh, with a sad face. Bye then, Ryo. She almost broke out in a run. <laughs> There's nothing for her going to Canada? Okay. No. All right, then. She says, she tells Rio, don't do anything stupid. Meanwhile, he's picked up a part-time job at the harbor so he can beat up on gang members. 
and then she says don't do anything stupid and he says of course I won't mark have you seen any of the mad angels no sure haven't all right but all right. mark I'm warning you you best stay away from them all right mark about the deal no, not mark it ain't wise to go messing with them it ain't wise I'm trying to talk to the other guy Hitoshi Ryo is your lunch big enough for you yeah it's plenty you can have half of mine if you want thanks but I got a small appetite so <laughs> sometimes I can't finish it you know is that so he has a small appetite you ain't getting away get back here excuse me yeah have you seen the mad angels around I don't know anything about them ask the foreman yes yes that's one, two, three. Hey, Tiyoshi. Four. Hey, Ryo. Are you hiding something from me, man? What? No. You kind of got that look, you know, like you're hiding something. Well, I'm not. Really? You sure? Well, you be sure to let me know if something's up. Uh, yeah. What? Where is my last coworker? Where did he go? Where's my other coworker usually at? I can't remember. Well, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I was talking about my my uh, channel. Because like I said, I try to keep a steady stream of content, so I was kind of panicking because I was, I was trying to figure out what's the next game I'm going to stream. So that's when I end up buying this one. Got a minute? What the hell you want? Hey, friend. Have you seen any of the mad angels around the harbor? Don't get me involved in <laughs> shit like that! I didn't see shit! Well, thank you, Mr. Potty Mouth. I appreciate it. I bought this... Yeah, I bought this pack on... Um, I bought this pack online only to find out that it went on sale the week after I bought it, so... Stuff like that is always is always nice. That's... That's always nice. <laughs> But nevertheless, I do have it. Because I, I had it originally on uh, Dreamcast, of course, when it came out. And now I have it again on the PS4. Um, leave me alone, will you? I'm sorry. What was with the camera? The camera was, like, twitching now. Because, yeah, I don't think any cutscenes happen during the day. I think they all happen at night. Uh, is there anywhere I need to go? Not really. I'm just kind of killing time until lunch is over with. But yeah, once again, thank you guys for popping in, checking out my content. I greatly appreciate it. Excuse yes, me. Sir. I want to ask you something. Sorry. Um, Try asking. I see. Um, new. Whatever. You didn't even you didn't even let me ask my question first. Like I said, what if I need to find out where the bathroom is? Oh, I'm new. Yeah, you're new, but you know where the bathroom is, sir. You just don't want me to ask you questions. That's what that is. What is Tom here? Is Tom here? Let me see. Tom is here. Almost get ran over twice. Hey, Tom. Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? I don't know. Rio, I heard a rumor that you are going after the Mad Angels. I've got my reasons. Trust me. <laughs> no, man. Do not go and get mixed up with them. If you know anything about them, please, Tom, you've got to tell me. Sorry, but I don't know, man. Really? Tom, do you know where the Mad Angels are? No, I don't know. But I also heard you're going after the Mad Angels. Of course, he just asked about them. Um. Oh, yeah, we gotta do our we gotta do our slogan for today. Our weekly our weekly Shinmu mantra. When life is hard. Going through a lot of things, you just look in the mirror and you say, He made a rule that every day must go to church. That is. Get you through your day every time. It 
Is she gonna tell me to not look for the mad angels and to go become a movie star? Excuse me? Yes? What is it? Have you ever seen the mad angels? Hey! Watch what you say! Don't talk about them so loudly! You don't say. About the mad angels? You're too fresh and unspoiled! We should aim for better things than life on the harbor. I know all about how to get an audition. No, I'm not interested. <laughs> Back to work. She wants to make you a famous movie star, Rio. Warehouse number 18. Okay. Alright. I keep doing that. Well, no. This is good. Pick it up, Rio. Pick it up. There we go. Is this the part? No, that's later. That's later. I think. Yeah, that's later. I thought I was close to the end, but I'm not. I keep, I keep forgetting about cutscenes and stuff that happens because I haven't played through the story mode in, in ages. So. But yeah, like I've said a couple of times on my other my, on my other videos, I'll talk about it too. That it was my I got this game for my birthday. My brother had told me about it. He's telling me about some game that some game where you know time time passes through the game and you can buy stuff and all these different things. So I'm like, huh? I'll buy that. Sure, why not? And I've loved it ever since. Except for the third one. <laughs> but I do love the games. It's just different stuff about... I love I love the first game. The first game would always be dope to me. The second game, I hate like... I don't like the last act. Because it just gets... It seems like they just kind of stretched. It, it seems kind of like... It's kind of like a movie that they kind of stretch for time, essentially. The last act is kind of just... Okay, here, let's fight a bunch of people and let's have you going in buildings. Walking across tight ropes for, for whatever reason. Walking across tight ropes and stuff, I guess. Like, that part was kind of like, bruh, I, I do not want to play this again. Because actually, I started playing offline, I started playing uh, Shimu 2. And it's like I'll play it up until the part where you have to walk across tight ropes and you have a bunch of fights. And then I think I'll be finished playing that. And then the third game, it's just the it's just the ending. Like the ending is very anticlimactic. And they made it a little too It was a little too meta, in my opinion, as well. Where it's like because I understand, I completely understand, you know, all these people raise their money, you know, to make the game. You know, you, you understand, you appreciate that, the fact that they're going to have people in the game who, you know, fund, who essentially funded the game. You're going to have them and their likenesses in it, but at the end of the day, you still, you still should be about telling the story, the original story that you set out to tell. Like if it was maybe DLC or something with with extra characters who who helped fund the the project. If it's like DLC, that's you know that's definitely cool. But you're talking about the core story where you're kind of just throwing people in it, and it just it just gets like it almost becomes like a parody sometimes. Well, in that case, well in this case, yeah, it almost becomes like a parody or like oh well you know this is for this and this like I understand it and I appreciate it I definitely appreciate it I can see the you can see the emotion behind it but it's just like at the end of the day you still have to just tell your story because I know before they had said uh, forget it I can't believe I'm blanking out on his name right now the creator of Shenmue but I believe he essentially said that in the beginning he wanted it to be maybe like eight games, eight Shimbu games originally, but of course the first one it just cost too much, so it wasn't a it wasn't a reality. But like eight eight games is quite a bit. 
a little unrealistic. But it's like if you can just condense that into maybe half of that, then you know we could, you know we could we could work with that. That'll be a little bit more believable than like eight games. But for it to just be you condensing eight games into two or three games, kind of like uh, that's you're, you're gonna leave out a lot of stuff. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a movie, a movie that's from a book where you're condensing eight books into one movie like now nah, you're gonna you're gonna leave stuff out and nobody really likes when you leave stuff out because it doesn't end up working as a movie what what did I hit it doesn't end up working as a movie or as a fair representation of the books case in point the avatar movie <laughs> it's just like you trying to you combining entire book one into a movie because I remember even the first time I saw the movie I wasn't even at that time I hadn't even watched um, I hadn't even watched the show yet Avatar I hadn't even watched the show yet I had watched the movie and even just watching the movie I'm like why is uh why are they focusing so much on the, the villain when in the books, when in the show, it makes sense. But in the movie, it didn't. It didn't add up to me. <clears throat> in the movie, it didn't add up, so I couldn't understand it. So yeah. Was that was I done talking? I think I was finished talking. Yeah, that was just my gist. That was my that was my little soapbox session for today, I guess. Yeah, that was my little soapbox session. I'm, I think I'm done for today. <laughs> I don't know if a cutscene happens. I can't remember. Move, Goro. Move, Goro. You're my buddy, but you need to get out of the way. Because I'm over here making sweet moolah. I wonder if they would ever try to make a Shinmu movie. I don't know. I don't see why not. They kind of make a movie about everything, but it might also be a little too obscure. But Shinmu does have a large fan base, though. So I mean, you can see, you kind of see both sides of it. Of course, they'll probably have to finish the games first. I wonder if they're ever gonna. I wonder if he's ever gonna start, or at least put up the crowdsourcing for uh, for Shimu Four. Because I mean, as soon as, because as soon as Shimu Three dropped, it was let's get hashtag let's get Shimu Four. So and you could definitely see him try. So. I feel like I have to practice fighting before I actually fight, or else I get embarrassed again. Because <laughs> I was, I was watching my gameplay footage from my last fight, and I just, <laughs> I just got re-upset again. <laughs> I just got upset all over again. Because they kept, well, if y'all didn't see it, they kept knocking me out of the air. I'm trying to do the spinning kick, and they do like. I'm trying to do the spinning kick and they do a light punch and they're knocking me out of the air. And I'm like, this is this is unrealistic. Like I don't remember having having this much hassle from the Backstreet Boys. The Mad Angel Backstreet Boys. I don't remember having this much hassle. Yeah, I don't I don't think a cutscene happens here. I don't think it does. I honestly can't remember. I'm kind of forgetting the I'm fr I'm kind of forgetting the, the details of this last uh, really of the last few um, 
harbor, the, of the harbor section essentially. I remember how it ends, but I forget all the different nights and whatever, all the stuff that, all the different stuff that happens around there, so. It is a nice refresher though, because I never get tired of playing this. Well, I probably would get tired of playing it if I played it back to back, but. Cause I know even, even when I first started playing this on stream, I was talking about um, possibly doing a speed run, and I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at how long it's taking me to actually finish the story mode, and I'm just like, eh, I don't know about that, but you know, you never know. The good thing about games like these, you can always come back and revisit them. So you can never say, you can never say never. So. Trying to make sweet moolah get out of my way. Where was the homeless guy that I wanted? Because we just watched him. We just watched him walk over to his uh his little corner by the bar, by the well by the cafeteria rather. Not just that, I had it. Flick him, flick on him, flick on Rio. Like, I wonder where he's walking from. Because I didn't see him. Unless he was in one of the, uh, in one of the warehouses, maybe. Once again, it is quite the bummer that you can't help him get a job, or at least you can't help him out anymore in the story. Besides getting him, helping him from getting beat up and getting him some coffee. Which you can totally turn around and get him a cold drink. Which he'll be appreciative, but he'll also be disappointed. So it makes you kind of sad. Because it's kind of... Because <laughs> it's funny and sad at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but it's one after the other. Because you'll be like, huh, I'm not going to get him coffee. I'm going to get him Coke. And then you get him the Coke and he's just di legitimately disappointed. You're like, oh, I was mean to a homeless person. It's not cool. It is not cool to be mean to homeless people. Get it, get it, get it. Right there. Right there. Thank you. Finished for the day. Nice. Give me my sweet moolah. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow... You'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 450 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Off to find the mad angels. And now I have all this money that I'm getting from my part-time job with not really much to spend it on. Or not as much as I guess initially. I can't just spend it in the arcade the entire day or buy a bunch of capsule toys. Well, I can buy a bunch of capsule toys. So. As in real life, it's not the same when you gotta go to work every day. <laughs> nope. Harbor Beats, Antiquity Tree Flower Girl. Were oh, these already up here? Do I have Harbor Beats? Wrong one. Bewitched, I do have Bewitched Heart Beats. I don't have Harbor Beats, okay. I'll buy that one in. No. No vitamin water, Rio. We're buying a uh, cassette tape. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. Come on, big prize, big prize. Come on. No win. Of course. No prize, eh? 
because this game is rigged that's why let's see what this cassette looks like K2U Special Edition Horror Beats Chris Bryant and Valentine Iverson Allen Chambers Dragon Kawanami Chris Bryant once again keeping with the trope of I wonder what's the backstory behind it of them just mixing up basketball players first and last names into into these albums like I really, I really wonder what's the backstory behind this I should buy one as real shadow looks like his mocap that was always interesting to me Hey, what's this? I have no idea what that is. Capsule toys, capsule toys. Hmm, I know this. Maybe I should get another. As enough. Nah, not today. If only they let you buy like 10 of them at a time, that would be cool. But I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make another separate video about Shimu 3 and my experiences with it. Excuse As opposed me. To the first one. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the Mad Angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? No, nothing re reckless. He's just going to fight an entire gang single-handedly. You know, nothing reckless, though. Honey, Honey son. son. Hi, yo. Have you seen the Mad Angels around here? I saw them near the diner not long ago. You mean the Harbor Lounge? My guess is they gather around here at night. The Harbor Lounge at night. Yeah, like I was saying, I haven't decided if I'm gonna make a separate video for the third game. Excuse How's me. still working? Yeah? Have you seen the Mad Angels around? I don't know anything about them. Ask the foreman. Yes. Or was that the one that recently lost his job? That would explain why he's working more, I guess. But yeah, because I don't, I don't know. The fighting, especially with the fighting in the third game, it's just different like you don't feel any weight from getting punched and all that. Mark have you seen any of the mad angels? No sure haven't. Alright. Alright yeah okay. You don't feel the weight from punches and kicks like you do in this game. In this game and the second one. It's cool it is cool that you get to train and you get better and stronger and stuff but like the stamina system is kind of he sucks. We all have you ever seen any of the Mad Angels? Mad? Well, I don't think I've ever seen them. Sorry, I have no idea. I see. So I'm just waiting until night, basically. But I'll probably go ahead and just do like a little clip video. And just do my review, my official review for Shimu 3. I mean, why not? Regardless, I still hope they can make a shit move forward. About the Mad Angels? Ask someone else. Right. How's he, how's he still here? Regardless, I hope they do get shit move forward and I hope the series continues on. Because I would hate to see the series die when it has such a big fan base behind it. Winning can? Nope. Ooh. Ah, 
good. Alright, almost. You, you, you okay, bro? Are you talking to yourself again? Um, they sure look good. Excuse me. Don't talk to me. <sighs> I almost took a sip. I mean, you have to, you have to buy it first before you can take a sip. You can't just shake the machine. Where's he going? There we go. Okay. Real starting trouble. Long time no see. This is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog? Door. Looks like we're gonna have to run this stray off now. I'm gonna get him. Real, real ghost riding. <laughs> I'll give you pain, little oh, shit. Urgh. Urgh. Now. Wrong one. Yo, you can't drift a motorcycle. Rio just Rio just drifting a motorcycle like it ain't nothing. Smooth move. You ain't so bad, punk. Are you? But your time's up. But your time. You wish. Up. Oh no, it's the the Mad Angel back. No one voice. takes on the Mad Angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. It's the bottom of the sea. Get him. But I can't swim. Well, I can swim. Is he done? He's not done. Now he's done. Okay. Oh, come on, Rio. Good time for this. Are you serious? Okay, that's it. Alright, cool. You little brat, I'm gonna break your face. Come on! I beat him up easily the first time. Now all of a sudden he's a fighter. Okay. Okay, I forgot he does that. Bro, come on with that. Unblockable attacks. Punch him in the butt. Punch his butt. Do the butt punch. Huh, did not do too bad this time. Awesome. and Chi uh, Ming connected. Uh, uh, I don't know. What? Wait. <laughs> I don't know if he's Chi Ming, but there's some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Uh, big shot? Yeah. 
They had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. Landy, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't <laughs> tell anyone I told you. <laughs> They'll kill me. They'll kill me. <laughs> he gets beat up, ne yet his shades never come off. All right, what we got? Landy is still in the harbor. Find out more about the trade. Well, let's go ask Kui Shang again. If he'll let me hang out with him. If he'll let me go see him, I guess. I'm just glad I didn't do horrible in that fight. Even though it is. Even though, like I said, it doesn't make sense because... The first time we saw that guy, was that Charlie? Yeah, that's Charlie. The first time we saw him, we beat him up kind of easily. Now all of a sudden, he's the final boss. Goro. What's grooving, bro? What's up? On patrol, brother. Patrol. Seeing if those nasty bad thugs making trouble in harbor are around. You seem especially happy. <laughs> Speak for yourself. How's work coming? I'm managing. Hang in there, bro. Sure. Thanks. Like Rick. <laughs> Goro, I feel like you're high, sir. I, I feel like you've been doing the drugs. That's what I think. It could just be me, but that's what I think. Hello? Mother's Earth. Comrades. Comrades. Father's heaven. Nine dragons. Nine dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Come if you must. Alright, where is he at? Is he still up? Yeah, he's still upstairs. Okay. What you got for me, Kuishang? Kuizan. Azuki. I'm sorry. When's that deal with the Mad Angels going down? What? Tell me, when is it going to happen? That's something I can't tell you. Kuizan! Get lost. Go home. Kuizan, when's the deal going down? Enough! This has nothing to do with you! Kuizan, when's the deal going down? Enough already. I have nothing else to say to you. Kuizan, when's the deal going down? Enough! This has nothing to do with you! I figured if you just ask him a bunch of times, he'll eventually tell you. So I wonder what Kui, what Kuizong and Master Chen, what is their plan to stop the Chiyo men? I mean, because they obviously know about it, and they obviously know about... Well, of course they know about the Landy and all that, because they told Rio about it, but... I wonder what's their plan. Of how to stop them, or I guess whatever the case is. Yeah, I can go home. I can go home now. Waiting on the bus. Waiting on the bus, t -t -t -t, waiting on the bus, t -t -t -t, waiting on the bus, t -t -t -t. waiting on the bus, t -t -t -t, waiting on the bus, t -t -t -t, waiting on the bus, t -t -t -t, waiting on the bus. T -t -t -t. Okay. We can go see Nozomi, and then we can go to the house. I forgot I gotta go see my other girlfriend. Well, my actual girlfriend. Nozomi thinks 
that she's my girlfriend, but she is sorely mistaken. My real lady is Mickey, who does not give me the time. Ine son's bound to be worried. I'll go on home. Bruh, I'm already headed home, sir. I guess I'm doing it. Nozomi. Hi, Ryo. Saved up enough money for your trip? No, not yet. You're going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. It's so different from Vancouver. What's it like there? Beautiful. Surrounded by lots of nature. Right. Well, I'm still on shift, so... See you later. Nozomi. Ryo, I gotta go give my grandma a hand. So see ya. Um, I gotta go. Mm. Almost closing oh. time. Gotta go. Really? I would I too would like to go to Vancouver. I hear it is very nice. A pizzeria that closes at four AM. Sign me up. Evening, Mickey. Hi, Dio. You shouldn't be hanging around at this time of night. It's not like you staying out so late. Want to go someplace? Absolutely. No, maybe next time. Oh, guess you're not the type. Thank well, you, if not, you better get on home. Yeah. See you Every later. Time. Bye. Good night, Mickey. Every time. You better get on home. She sounds like she sounds like Mercy from the Warriors. Gonna walk all the way home, huh? Tough guys. <laughs> like real, you you have to stop, sir. You're making me look bad. Mickey talking about hanging out, going to get drinks, living the good life. And you just, um, no, I, no, no, thank you. Mickey begging for that quality time. <laughs> She's sweet on you, boy. She wants some of that quality time. Have to make sure I have enough time to get home so I can cut off Fuxan's, Fuxan's light if he smarts off to me again. I would feel bad, but he does it to himself. It's his fault. Nights I get home early, he tells me make sure I get home early. Fuxan, real son. If there's something bugging you, we'll spar for a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so bad. I'll let it slide. Okay. All right, y'all. That is my time for today. Thank you guys for rocking with me for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for your boy if you will. Give me that feedback, man. I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, that's my time, y'all. I'm out of here. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.